Gaffer, another narrow defeat to Tranmere today. What's your overall reflection on today's game? Uh, overall reflection, uh, I don't think we was at our best today. It's very, very, very disappointing that we never even had a go at them, it seemed to me. Uh, they get a spawny goal, but uh, you know, they, they was too, they're a good side. They was too cute for us today. They was a little bit more announced up, a lot more professional for us, a lot more senior. And I was just disappointed. It's the first time I felt like that since I've been here. But we go one nil down, and it looks like we didn't even have a go at them. You know, me and Lee are screaming at the side there, and it was, I, I just feel so disappointed that we've let ourselves down that much. Was that sort of the, the element of the game that you were disappointed in most today, just the lack of chances? No, it's nothing to do with chances. You don't get chances if you work hard for them. We didn't create any chances. You make chances, but we didn't do what we're normally good at. And, uh, you know, you bring Nadders on, prime example. How many times we get the ball over and Nadders over the top? You know, it's just one of, I say one of them games, it's creeping in a little bit. Maybe there's a few of us who suddenly start thinking that we're a little bit better than what we are. Um, and, and we've got to get back to reality very, very quickly because that ain't acceptable by some of them today. Nowhere near it. I suppose they're the best defensive team in the league. Have we got to get not credit interested, to them? Not interested whether they're the best defensive side in the league or whatever. We've still got to lay, we never laid a glove on them. We've got to test them. They are a good side. That's why they are where they are, because they're a good side. But we, we had a, a plan today to have a go at them. Worst scenario, you know, we don't mind if you get beat and you get beat fairly. Spawny goal they got. Um, and it's nil-nil. But we never, I don't think their keeper had a save. I don't think we had a shot on goal. Well, that ain't us. We're the home side. We've got to take it to the team. No matter who they are. I suppose one positive, you can take Jordan Tunnicliffe back in the lineup today after that long time out. Please, please don't talk about positives when you've just gone through that. Of course it's a positive with Jordan, but that, I, I know I keep on and I get criticised. That, that, that's, that's like saying you've just, you've had your ass burgled but ain't nicked your telly. Well, well, it's not interested in that, is it? We've still got beat. Tony, great to talk again after a long layoff, but obviously a disappointing result today. Yeah, very disappointing. Um, happy to be back, but I don't want to be back and losing football games. I want to be winning football games. Been watching the, the lads all season. I think they've been absolutely brilliant. We've been on a brilliant run recently, and I've wanted to come in and be part of that. And to, to be on the losing end today is really disappointing. Um, the game, playing in the game, I don't know what looks from the side, but there was nothing in it. That neither team, team had chances, and they had a lucky goal. The gaffer's disappointed us in there, and he's right that we're the home team and we should be pushing on a bit more. And looking for that equaliser, but uh, it wasn't to be today and we'll, we'll go again. A really narrow defeat. What do you think was the main thing that we might be missing from our performance today? <laughs> Goals. Uh, no, it's it's difficult because Tranmere are, are like a very good side. You've got to respect Tranmere at the end of the day. I've, like, I looked at the league table before the game and they haven't conceded many goals and our front players and our midfield players have, have chipped in with a lot of goals this season and, and we've been doing really well, so I was confident coming into the game. Maybe... Um, Winning first and seconds a bit better, I don't know. I think we've done that quite well. It was a really tough game. There's 46 games in the season, not every game, not every single game is going to go the way you want it to go. And we just needed to dig deep, and we did, but unfortunately we're just on the, on the losing end today. I mean, besides the goal, we did keep them quiet up front. I mean, we, we played well in defence. Were you proud of yourself individually in your first game back despite the result? Yeah, but no. I pride myself on clean sheets, and, and we never got one today. Um, it's my first game in five and a half months and I knew that I just had to keep things simple. I knew that like there were times in the game when I probably didn't do things correctly because it's been so long, but the, the lads around me were brilliant today. I think they realised how long I've been out and stuff and, and they they pulled me through it and um, from a personal point of view, just disappointed to lose. I think it was a shock to many people to see your name in the starting lineup, but a great reaction online on social media. They must fill you with confidence going forward. Yeah, it does. I think the fan, fans have been brilliant with me since day one um, when I joined two and a half years ago. And I started that season, ever since then, the fans have been brilliant with me and I've, I've just hoped to repay them in every way I can. Uh, when, I, when I step uh, foot on a football pitch and I'll always give 100%. And I suppose it's not a bad defensive pair to, to line up with, both Joel Lynch and Tony Craig, must be good. No, it is good, you know, the, the, the amount of experience that, that they've got in their game and the things they're saying to me, I'm 28 myself and I'm becoming one of the experienced players, but them two, like, I can always learn and keep on learning. We've got Ludi there as well, who's been brilliant this season and he's always learning. So I think as a, as a mixer between the four of us, I think we've got a really good defensive structure and hopefully that pushes on. Tony, it's great to see you back. See you next weekend. Thank you.